What's your favorite thing about teaching at BHS? My favorite thing about teaching at BHS? Um, well, I went to school here, so it's nice to be back to where I am and to still see Tiger Pride alive. Um, and I just like seeing kids from where I come from be successful in life, so that's about it. What made you want to be a teacher? Um, actually, the irony of it is the teacher that I took over for is one of the reasons why I wanted to teach. Um, he was a hardcore, intense teacher who didn't take any BS from students. And I remember sitting in the same exact room. I think it actually was different because the building was different back then. But um, And he gave me my first ever seat. I was like, what? I am a pro at everything. Why are you giving me a C? And then he's like, I know you wrote this paper the night before, and I know you could do better, so that's why you got a C. And I was like, oh man, I'm really gonna have to work for this teacher. He's not gonna just accept something the night before. So he really made me work, and I wound up learning far more in English than I could have imagined. And then um, I just threw a bunch of courses here, helped tutor kids and talk to kids and I was like, oh, I could see myself doing this like every day and at first I was like, oh, I wanted to be a daycare worker but oh my gosh, I die with little kids all day long, they're insane all over the place. So I was like, I think I could do older kids though, they're not too bad. So that's kind of how I started this. How many years have you been teaching? This is my second official year of teaching. Um, I did some subbing and long-term subbing at Sanford, um, but this is like my second year actually teaching my own in class. Was English your favorite subject in school growing up? <laughs> no. Um, I liked English. I mostly liked creative writing and writing in general, um, but my favorite subject in school way back in the day was math. Yeah. Um, I loved math. However, I don't think I could ever teach math because one answer fits all and I'm just like, oh man, I don't know how I got to this point. I just know I got to it. So I was like, hmm, if I wanted to teach, what would I teach? And then I had the trailer and he challenged me and I learned more about English than I could imagine. And then I just kind of was like, I think I actually like this. So, aha moment. As a kid, did you want to be a teacher? No. Um, as a kid, my dreams changed many times. I wanted to be a famous pop star the first time I was a kid. Uh, then it changed. I was like, uh, that's not really realistic. I can't hold the tune, so I don't think I can do that anymore. And so I thought about work, working at a daycare. Um, and then I was like, oh, I don't have the patience for little kids all day, and I don't want to rub snotty noses. Um, so then I was like, oh. That's not gonna work. So then I wanted to be a veterinarian. I don't even, I don't even know why. And then I was like, oh, I could own a doggy daycare. And then I was like, then I have to pick up poop, and that's just as bad as rubbing noses, you know. So then when I got to high school, I think it was by freshman or sophomore year, I was like, get in the midst of like working with kids my age, helping kids in basketball, things like that. And I was like, hmm, yeah. So it wasn't until high school that I figured.